Coming into today's trading activity over the past three days down by about seven tenths of a percent, three quarters of a percent for the Dow. Right now out of the gate, though, it's lower by a little more than half a percent. NASDAQ composite, you're seeing that flat just barely to the upside. So holding on to some of the, the those gains there uh, by the hair of its chinny chin chin, I might add. Past three days, though, up by about half a percent. S&P 500, you're seeing that in negative territory past three days, down a quarter percent. About the same on a percentage basis here out of the gate this morning. I'm going to take a quick look at sectors here on the S&P 500. Then we'll get to some of those regional banks here. Sectors for the S&P 500, you've really just got communication services and consumer discretionary in positive territory right now. Communication services leading the pack as of this point. And then you've got some staples that just barely got into positive territory. XLE, though, bringing up the rear right now. It's down by about one and a half percent. Looking for XLF as that's going to allow me my segue in a quick moment. That's down by about eight tenths of a percent for the financial sector. Let's take a look at some of those regional banks, especially considering the news out earlier on today, PAC. Um, PacWest Bank saying deposits declined by about nine and a half percent during the week ending May 5th. Um, much of that decline seen during the 4th and 5th of May here. And so there you're taking a look at some of those regional banks out of the gate this morning. Really not any or not too many bright spots to be found. I mean, you take away some of the banks that had already failed. Um, and so now you're thinking about where that move in PacWest is netting them. And yeah, PacWest down 26% as we start off today's trading session. Western Alliance down about 4% right now, Julie. Yeah, um, interesting to see that coming back to the fore. Just when we think we are sort of done with or getting to the close of this whole saga, something else kind of springs up it is weird to see western alliance down when it said its deposits actually climbed which seems to indicate that it's more sentiment driven once again than perhaps fundamentally driven but we will keep tracking it of course um, and what's going on in those regional banks